Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Um, we're going to talk about Caroline Flack and um, we're going to talk about her suicide. We're going to have a discussion about domestic violence. <laughs> Follow me on Instagram. Um, it's obviously really sad news that um, someone's taken their life. If someone is going through trials and tribulations and they feel they have to end their life, you know, the turmoil that they must be going through is truly horrendous. Um, I've got a statement here from her boyfriend, um, Lewis Burton, and it reads, My heart is broken. We had something so special. I am so lost for words. I am, I am in so much pain. I miss you so, so much. I know you felt safe with me always. I didn't think that this would happen. I was not allowed to be there at this time. I kept asking and asking. I will be your voice, baby, I promise. I will ask all the questions you wanted and I will get all the answers. Nothing will bring you back, but I will try to make you proud every day. I love you with all my heart. That was a statement on Instagram from Lewis Burton, her current boyfriend where they had a domestic dispute and um, a lot of people have been criticizing the crown um, for this but playing devil's advocate if it was the other way around and a man had injured his wife or his long-term girlfriend or short-term girlfriend whatever and the crown decided that they couldn't see each other for safeguarding reasons is it the crown's fault that the abuser um, committed suicide what we've got to understand is you know there's a massive big picture where women are abused all over the world and although they get abused when police is called um, many years ago um, a lot of the time the, the charges will be dropped but now because of safeguarding um, they take it out of the hands of the person that's being abused because they could be terrified you got you have to remember they could have kids um, there's financial implications you know there's love and you know love is blind there's all these things so I'm not one for blaming the crown for this. I, I believe that people should be safeguarded against their abusers because they could be intimidated and all these and, the, and and so forth. But I do believe that although um, Burton Lewis is saying that they were unable to to see each other due to the the crown, um, the crown courts. That is. Let's be real here there was nothing stopping them from communicating with each other you know they wouldn't have been breaking any laws well Caroline Flack would have but but he wouldn't have been breaking any laws and he was able to contact her and be with her at any time so you know when I hear a statement where he says you know he wanted to be there he wasn't allowed to be there I don't know how you know how how true that rings but nevertheless the discussion that I want to have with you people is um, what do you think of um, how can we identify people who may be at risk of committed suicide once they have been in some form of trauma that could be a death in the family that could be losing their job going bankrupt um, any form of trauma that they may um, have been um, traumatised to. Um, how can we support people? There's a thing going around saying that we should all be kind. We should all be kind. It's like it's a kind campaign. Um, 
I don't really understand that basic human normal um, everyday life as growing up you should be kind you should be respectful you should be caring so I'm not too sure about where this kind campaign comes from maybe it's to do with the internet trolls that hide behind a computer screen computer screen as keyboard warriors and letting off steam the thing about it is this social media is dangerous for a lot of people mentally especially for women um, what are your suggestions on how we can tackle it what do you think of what i've just said do you agree don't you agree let me know um let's talk subscribe like you know what to do if you want to continue to see videos like this on discussions about topics of all kinds of relationships and my traveling blogs and luxury lifestyle. Peace out. Follow me on Instagram.